financial spread betting comes with a number of benefits. Profits from spread betting are tax-free because they are classified as bets, although the industry is still regulated by the FSA, as opposed to the Gambling Commission. However, even without the tax advantages, spread trading has a number of things going for it. Leverage. In share trading, you buy and own the market you are trading. With spread bets, you are just speculating on the market's value, so your money is not tied to the underlying instrument. Plus, you can trade with leverage, putting up a small amount of money to control a much larger amount. In practice, this means that you only need to deposit a portion of the total trade, usually between 2% and 10%, depending on the market you want to trade. Remember, however, that trading on leverage can magnify losses as well as profits, so you should manage risk accordingly. Bet on whether the market will rise or fall. Most markets place heavy restrictions on the types of trades you can place, which means most traders can only seek profits in rising markets. With spread bets, you can find profit potential whether the markets are rising or falling, a feature that lends itself to trading in a bear market. This makes spread betting great for day trading as you are able to catch the price rises and falls throughout the day, which in general are only small swings. You can trade with a small account and small stakes. For example, a 10-year bund contract in Europe has a 10 euro per tick value. If you take out a spread bet, you can trade at a level of 1 euro cent per tick. Also, any gains are free of tax. The downside is that the spreads are a little wider than the underlying market. But this is a non-issue nowadays. With so many spread betting providers, there's fierce competition for clients who are all under pressure to keep lowering their trading spreads. That's the difference between the buy and sell prices. If you don't have a lot of money and wish to start trading in a medium term style, spread betting is an excellent place to start without having to increase your risk per trade to an uncomfortable level. Also, there is no commission, just the higher spread which for a small bet size can be a pretty good deal. But remember, they are only tax-free in the UK and Ireland. Flexibility. One important advantage when using spread bets rather than actual shares is the lack of additional dealing costs when exiting in stages. For example, you might choose to dump, say, a third of your holding on a 5% fall, another third if down 10%, and let go to the final third if it drops to 15%. That way you feel you've given the stock plenty of opportunity to come good before totally giving it the boot. It eases the psychological burden of exiting in one go, when unsure it's the right thing. You can do a similar routine when dealing shares, but then you have to account for the costs into the proposed exit levels. And of course, with spread bets, you could also buy or rebuy in stages too. Availability of stop loss and guaranteed stop losses. You can preset a stop loss on your bet and limit your loss to the amount you initially invested in your account. Nothing will protect you in the real world if you invested an amount of money and the share plummet to the ground. However, in financial spread betting, you are protecting yourself from losing your pants. Stop losses can even be arranged to be executed at guaranteed price. It's useful to note that there are many large online stockbrokers that don't offer guaranteed stop losses for standard share dealing accounts. No currency exposure. By opening a spread betting account, you can follow all kinds of markets on one screen, just using a single spread betting company to get all your prices and news. You don't have the hassle of switching between accounts when you want to move from share trades to your foreign currency trades. In addition, spread betting providers allow you to trade shares easily in foreign markets like the USA, Germany or Japan, while still using a sterling account. You don't have to worry about any currency risk you might be getting exposed to by buying a share listed on a foreign market. Hedging. You can use spread betting to hedge against, say, a share price falling in value. In the case of an investor with heavy exposure to a stock who is anxious that the company's stock price might fall, the investor could open a short position using his spread betting accounts. 
In this case, even if the price falls, the investor would still not lose money, as the short bet would offset the losses incurred from the physical share portfolio. All these benefits and more can give financial spread betting a huge advantage over owning the actual financial market investments.